guys last time a couple of my plosives of my words were actually pretty aggressive into the microphone so what I've decided to do is put on my mask and see um, if we can continue the theme of free I already had this mask uh, free the theme of free and using things already on hand that I already have so uh, mixed with old school approach, uh, the only number one YouTuber from way back in the day that I remember and that I can recall uh, with this kind of format that was really popular. Their channel name is Whisper Crystal and uh, if I can figure out how to leave a link to that, I remember seeing YouTubers going, oh it'll be here or it'll be here, or, you know, that type of thing. So I'm just in my stages of my YouTube channel. So I may try to figure out how to leave a link to her. Really, really old school uh, videos. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is hark back to a more simpler time. And uh, hopefully you guys can see this. I did select screen and cam recorder sharing my screen so I hope that when I upload this you can see what I'm seeing fingers crossed emoji we are going to do a website review uh, some of the ones I remember Whisper Crystal doing I think were fashion maybe makeup bath products, etc. So I really, really enjoyed that, but tweaking that, uh, borrowing some of those ideas and tweaking that theme to be more uh, Arctic friendly. So I figured what I would do was go ahead and uh, go ahead some off-road, off-roady things. So I went ahead and pulled up the BRP website, not a sponsor, hashtag not a sponsor. And <clears throat> I wish I knew how to get rid of that. Oh well, we'll figure it out as we go. Some off-road toys from BRP.com. And my goodness, I don't want any of this. I want a side-by-side -side or a skidoo or a quad. I don't want a boat. The quad has brand existing brands. There we go. There's a skidoo. That's what I want to try today. All right, so as you can see, skidoo.com. I'm not sure if there's a Canadian version of this. If you can switch it to Canadian dollars, I don't know. But I think this is the basic kind of premise of how to say, I want a skidoo. What kind of skidoo do I want? What do I want it to have? Be able to do, look like that type of thing. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we're going to select models. I know beard scratching is a trigger, but there's what it sounds like to scratch my beard. Not sure. Feels good. Hopefully it sounds good. So let me see if I can play with this. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? How about here? Looks good to me. So all models. <clears throat> Deep snow. Okay, it went from all models to deep snow to trail. There we go, it's switching up now. Trail, crossover, sport utility, 
Let's look at this crossover expedition here. We've got two up seat, uh, two up style rider position, I think you'd say, two seats, and a big cargo box at the back, uh, windshield. Yeah, I think that those are three. <laughs> of a sport utility sled. So let's go over here and see sport utility. We've got Scandic Expedition. They look pretty similar. Looks to be a similar track length. Um, we've got the windshield. Looks like that's a small second seat and again the cargo storage box at the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's pretend we want a crossover, shall we? Back country. A true zero compromise 50 50 on trail or off trail snowmobile. The back country delivers an agile performance and adrenaline. Excuse me. The back country delivers the agile performance and adrenaline these adventures see. Seeking riders love. Expedition. On or off trail. So that's, I guess, what crossover means. On or off trail. Skidoo expedition models pack incredible versatility and capability into one sled. Work at the cottage one hour and start a new adventure the next. That sounds more like something I would be into right now. Hopefully you uh, can support that decision and go ahead and click that guy right there. Starting at, now see I don't know if this is Canadian, Canadian or American information, either way, excuse me, Trav. I don't know, dollar sign. to do that. The nearest authorized Kadoo dealer for me is, I don't know, 850 kilometers south of here on Canadian land. Not something I'm looking to do right now. Pre-order, uh, customize your own. That's probably what we're going to click. Now, I wish it's Kadoo. I wish uh, you told me whether it was Canadian or American dollar. So we're in Canadian English. So maybe also in Canadian dollars. Let's see if we click okay, that was my sound. Hopefully that doesn't leave too much lag, but I like that sound of clicking the, the left wing button. Choose your country or region. Select Canadian English and Canada English North America. Yeah, that sounds right to me. How about your currency? This is, as far as I can tell, probably either American or Canadian dollars and the exchange rate, I'm not sure. Feel free to uh, research that at your leisure. So, we've gone ahead and we've selected the 2023 Skidoo Expedition starting at $10,999. It's not uh, Australian dollars, but it, MSRP on it, uh, on, excuse me, entry package, transportation and beverage. 
<clears throat> Sorry. Transportation and preparation fees may vary based on selection. Commodity surcharge starting at $501 will apply. Current promotion is no longer. Let's go ahead and make this a badass snowmobile. You can customize your own. Spring only on the 2000. I'm pointing with my finger like you guys can see. I gotta use the cursor. Still learning. 2023 Expedition SE I think Special Edition. Starting at $16,899. Two seats. Looks like we've got one, two, three out of four sleds two seats. Now, a lot of aftermarket snowmobile accessory companies will offer extra seats. Not that I can offer pretty much anything, but extra seats is definitely one that I think a lot of them offer. So, maybe we won't go ahead and worry about whether there are two seats or whether it comes standard with a cargo box. Expedition L must be limited edition. That looks pretty fancy, but I do like these rails here. I do like those rails. We've got the rails here, the cargo rail. Uh, easy to put stuff in and uh, tie it down with, I think. And I actually remember seeing a video on YouTube one time that was uh, reviewing some snowmobiles by Skidoo, and they actually talked about how the entry level Expedition Sport was actually super popular. So, I'm going to go ahead and say yes it is. Excuse me, but I'm not looking to use any extra rope or lashings <coughs> for tying anything down on my snowmobile. So we're going to head, excuse me, we're going to go ahead and use these. B 2023 Expedition LE. Now, I will go over some things about all these sleds that I do believe to be true. I uh, like reading some of the uh, information and maybe spitting some of what I've learned about snowmobiles over the years at you. For example, SE, I think Special Edition, LE, Limited Edition, right? Sport is usually your entry level. I think even on Jeep, Jeep Wrangler Sport is your entry level and the trim level packages kind of go up from there with accessories and price, um, etc. So, let's scroll down. We cannot, let's not. Uh, colors offered all black or gray and orange. Gray or black black oh excuse me that looks like gray to my eyes but it actually is kind of a sandy brown i've actually seen those and it is a pretty decent color in my opinion it's not very aggressive color it's not black it's not flashy red but i do think it is a nice color i've seen four-wheeler quads uh, also in brown and i think it's pretty cool i don't know just personal preference this one looks to be sort of all blacked out i think it's more the black and red more of an aggressive look no two seats uh the no standard it's a little bit more aggressive extreme even in the title of its uh, trim level package you can see extreme kind of um giving that connotation or that, I don't know, the board is, I'm looking for giving that idea, that impression, I guess, if you will, extreme black and red, pretty extreme, pretty intense, intense. So, and then we've got our, uh, these don't seem to be in any particular order that I can tell, uh, because this is your base, this is your, at least by price, upper mid-level, like if you're gonna go by price, number one would be like one, two, three, four being in order of maybe price for cheapest to highest. Maybe would be uh, Expedition Sport. And then would be, I think your Expedition LE, and then your Expedition SE, and then your Expedition Extreme. Maybe this is in popularity from most popular to second most popular to third and fourth, so no, 
this item. So I guess that's just conjecture. Conjecture. Just rambling. This one. The extreme only offered in red and black, and the expedition sport only offered in black and yellow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So four Rotax engines available on the expedition SE. 850 E-Tech, and if I am not mistaken, your E-Tech is going to be your two-stroke engine, and your 900 Ace, anything with Ace, I think you're also going to make a 600 Ace, and then a 600 EMI, electronic fuel injection. Now, your Ace is uh, your four-stroke engine, Captain, four-stroke engine. Um, 900 Ace, 900 Ace Turbo, now I think, I think Turbo usually means there's a turbine in there that'll spin and, and force more cold air into your engine, and it's just a more efficient way to run an internal combustion engine. Now, they also are dealing, there's a 900 Ace Turbo R, go ahead, do your own research on what Turbo R is, because I don't know. First of all, it reminds me of a Honda engine for some reason. Uh, this 850 E-Tech, or I think also 600 E-Tech. Your E-Tech is going to be your two, Captain, two-stroke engine. Air control suspension, ACS rear shock. What the hell? 7.8 inch wide LCD display with the RP Connect available. Bluetooth, maybe navigation, who knows. Oh, I think I'm also seeing some rear view mirrors on these guys here. And then not here, and your shorter windshield, and I don't think I'm seeing rear view mirrors here, so I think that's pretty useful when driving with partners. You can look in your rear views and see who is actually still behind you, or how far they are away, or if, you know, if they've stopped for uh, any number of reasons, I think that that's pretty safe. I've actually seen, I think, maybe even just the RP Connect on your little heads-up display. I think it can give you a GPS tracker on, okay, so let's say that this snow wheel and this snow wheel and this snow wheel and this snow wheel are all in a, in a convoy, and they're all traveling uh, together. And let's say that this, this snow wheel's in the lead, and for whatever reason, let's say this snowmobile has to stop, uh, has to die down their gear, whatever, something like that, and then this snowmobile stops. So you, you've got two, in our little scenario, out of four snowmobiles um, stopped. So let's say there's, I don't know, a couple hundred meters, or oh my gosh, maybe there's 50 feet. Let's say there's a couple hundred uh, distance units uh, between this snowmobile and this snowmobile, and then between this snowmobile and this snowmobile, let's say there's 200 meters between these guys, 200 meters between these guys, that would be 400 meters between these two snowmobiles here, and then let's pretend that these two snowmobiles have stopped. So, the long version of this, make a long story long, is that if this snowmobile, our expedition sport, is equipped with this GPS <clears throat> Excuse me, BRP Connect. <clears throat> Excuse me. If this snowmobile in our scenario is connected with this BRP Connect, I don't even know if that's an option. Maybe it's not. But let's pretend in a hypothetical world that he does have the, the available GPS that lets him know where all the other riders are in conjunction with him and uh, let, let him know that not only can he see this rider here, but he would know that these two riders have in fact stopped. So that would allow him, rider number one in the convoy, go ahead, stop, slow down, check on these guys in his rear view if he had them or stop, circle around, whatever. So in turn, 
was a back stop or something and I think that's a huge huge safety measure that's super duper useful so let's go ahead and if you're still with me select I think we're going to say the eighth division of me is the model we're going to put together today let's go ahead and click that are having a wonderful day, night, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is, where you are, where you're watching this, listening to this. Hopefully everybody is having a great time. Uh, today, we've got uh, 12.09 p.m. It's uh, March 4th, 2022, and what do we have? 16 degrees Celsius, minus 16 degrees Celsius, where we are here according to screen. I don't even know where that's from. Whether that's the weather network or what, but I think usually pretty close to accurate. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this garbage to get out of here on my slow old computer. Yes, thank you, but no thank you right now. So let's see if we can turn this around. 360 degree view. So I have a random kind of thumbnail over here of something. Looks like this could do from the front. Let's see if we can in fact. Yes, turn you around. There we go. Can we turn you up and down? No, but we can turn you side to side. That's pretty cool. So I think uh, right here we've got the color black on black. is your entry level <clears throat> excuse me expedition LB uh, 15649 dollars potentially two hundred and ninety five dollars and twenty four cents per month uh, that's probably all super duper customizable with prices and stuff so what else do we have Sorry, due to the uh, high demand, the 10.5, excuse me, the 10.25 color touchscreen display, the PRP unit, and smart shocks suspension are already sold out. <clears throat> For the 2022-23 season, well, jeepers, okay. Thanks. Take a snapshot. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that means um, if you have this all decked out with your different screens, colors and maybe a different color assortment and you have you know uh, different bells and whistles attached and you really want to take a snapshot and you don't want a screenshot on your screen for some reason you could do it with the website I guess what's this change environment see a different scene let's try clicking that because right now excuse me right now looks like we've got alpine mountains which is pretty deadly but uh where this video is being recorded, there are absolutely no trees. We are, oh my gosh, we are really high above the tree line. No trees for a couple hundred kilometers south of us, I think. And again, mountains. We don't have any mountains around us either. We're pretty flat here. So let's see what we can do. In my head, this is going to be a next shot. It's going to be a desert of some sort for some reason. I have no idea why, but let's just go with it. Oh, wonderful. We've got two options a blank studio or BRP snow. Let's see what we can do with changing it to studio. Maybe this is going to be like inside a Skidoo dealership or something, or maybe it will be just a blank ish background. Oh, there you go. I don't like that as much. As I do the snow, even though we don't have trees or mountains where we are, but we actually do in fact have lots and lots of snow right now. So let's move my face. Let's move my face some more over here. Maybe no, we can't. Okay, wait, excuse me. Oh my goodness, right there. Don't know, follow my cursor. Good. Save build, not yet. Options, color. Let's see if we can change the color. Desert or black 
funny story the Arctic is actually, I think, technically classified as a desert because of the amount of precipitation it gets each year is actually pretty, pretty low. Arctic desert, so um, there's a little tidbit of information where you stick that in your hat. So now, I do think this looks good, but I do not think it looks better than the black one. Black, let's move my face again. When I get seasick, all these moving, these unveiling here, I take it out of the way because my face is not feeling. The brown on black does look pretty decent. I do think it looks good, but I think out of both color arrangement options, I read changed black instead of changed black. Uh, out of all the color options, of which there are two, I think the black on black on black on black <laughs> on gray looks pretty dead gray and pretty good. So let's see what options we've got. Engine, there you go, probably your 900 Ace. You can see here, uh, let's see if we change this to a 600 E-Tech. If this will, I'm so putting my finger, if this will change. There we go, 600 R E-Tech. That's deadly awesome. And this little R is um, in red. 600 E-Tech. Oh, so this one has 900 Ace in the 900 lineup. 900 Ace with the turbo and 900 Ace turbo R. So I don't know if I want the four stroke option or the two. I'm going to go ahead and just for all intents and purposes or purposes, if you will, just select the Rotax 600 E deck. Two stroke and the two strokes. And if you want to know more about the two stroke engine versus four stroke engine, go ahead and do your research. Side panel protectors or skid plates. Yes, we want a black skid plate on this for sure. Let's see if we can actually, let's see if we can make it red uh, just for this demonstration porpoise. Because there we go. All right, keep your eyes focused right here. See that red skid plate? To protect tape worn over bumps and or into down into things over hills, etc. Try to drag this over and show you the front view of it. Please, not that's the butt. I want the front view, please. Thank you. There we go. Kind of looks like a red throat on a reptile or something. Pretty deadly, but we're going to go ahead and change it to black, I think. Let it go. There. Body frame and protection. Let's go back. Bumps, sitches, and winches. Driller edge for sure. Absolutely essential. Let's go back. Go ahead and look at the butt. Mm, let's look at the back. Mm. Well, this little pixely red doohickey is doing its thing. Uh, let's talk about the application of a trailer edge, if you will. this for, I think, in our household. Oh, there's your bridge crash for you. Oh. Well, that's never good. So, your trailer hitch, which I'm not sure is actually showing on this, would be used to pull a Comodec or a toboggan from the back full of supplies. Oh, here's a hitch. Here's some hitches. added. Maybe just to the overall price, but not the picture. So it should show up right about here, and it should look like this, but together they are not jiving. So let's go ahead and remove it, if we will. Keep your eyes pe uh, peeled. The total MSRP the hand manufacturer suggested retail price, which is what Skidoo says that they think the machine is worth and uh, the dealership is allowed to kind of play with this number a little bit I believe I believe that's how MSRP works on vehicles 
So let's go ahead and move your eyes build on this 172.2496. Let's remove this quantity. I wonder if you're allowed to have two. You could have two hypothetically, but no, we don't want one. We don't even want one stinking inch right now. 17.13897. So there you go. Difference of, it says Bob Barker, 8.599. But I do believe that is a uh, really, really beneficial piece to have uh, between the J itch and the regular itch. I think I've seen more of these regular itches. And then through here you could do knots. Uh, and then you can dye your toboggan to your sled using a fancy assortment of knots um, with, with the special heavy duty rope. And we're going to go ahead and eat that. Electronics. I don't really know what to do with this, so let's skip extras, pull strap, and toolkit. Let's go ahead and put a toolkit with it because I tell you why. This toolkit from the store around here might actually be a little bit more expensive. <coughs> Excuse me, then the $209.99. So we're going to go ahead and put that together right from Skidoo. This fancy Link Tax toolkit that says, hey, look, tools are inside for your Rotax machine. Even though we've got the e tech. Is it on there? Yes, one. Foot rest and knee pads. Let's skip. Handlebars and accessories. I do want to see that though. I have heard the sandal and card caps actually do keep your hands a little bit warmer. All I can think of is that they would just break off. But <laughs> let's choose this option for today and let's see if they show us a picture of what it'll look like. And we're going to choose the black. Handlebar muffs. My girlfriend told me that she those are a really good option for keeping your hands toasty and I disagree but let's just just for fun put them on this build wow that is not a snowmobile that's a group of trees let's see if we can see a snowmobile trees nope okay that's right mirror kit I think there are already mirrors on this machine there we go you can see them Right to here. Let's see, there's your mirrors. Okay, let's go back. Back under LED lighting. Let's go ahead and put something on the front of this. Let's do a light bar. small so let's go ahead and take those and delete them and let's add a high beam auxiliary LED, LED light so let's see if we can keep our eyes peeled keep our eyes peeled keep our eyes peeled right around here excuse me the front of the snow machine right around here right around here right around here and we're going to add the high beam auxiliary LED just kidding LED lights high beam auxiliary LED lights added Thinking, thinking, thinking. Maybe no photo. Oh, am I crazy? Oh, I think I see the mode on one second. If you already saw it, good for you. But what we're going to do is try to 
is thin and yes, I think it's right here on my nose. Let's see if we can read it. The dries be all done in here and in here. The weed the price goes down and I I looked at the price, I didn't see the lights. And the light yeah, they're there. Okay, good. Now now that we've got our lead lighting link storage and racks. I don't know if I want to add any storage or racks because I do like the idea of having one. Oh, excuse me. Uh, one that I had on my own, like an old box or something. I think it's a pretty better idea. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I think just go ahead and skip this. Seats and backrests, there are already two that added. Maybe one seat and one backrest, but let's go ahead and see if we spin this image to its right or left, I guess. If we can see these two seat backrest options. Spinning to it. There we go, thank you. So it might be the seat and the handlebars. Let's see. Comes with the Expedition LV. Passenger seat and passenger backrest. I wish that we could take the backrest off and the, just the seat, or just the backrest and no seat. That would be interesting uh, to eat seat. Yeah, let's go ahead and imaginarily put that on. Accessory not visible. Take a look at the top middle of the screen right here. Keep your eyes fixed right there. We're going to add the delete screen. Uh, excuse me. We're going to add the delete seat again. Accessory not visible. You mean you can't see it? Oh, no, not that. There, let's go back here and move my face again. Squeeze my face. Thank you. Seats and backrests. Skis, 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 and carbides. I don't know what we want to do. Pilot 7.4. Sure, why not? Says they're not visible. Bogus. It's good to you show me the skis. Snow flaps and ice scratchers. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna need an ice scratcher, but I'm not 100% sure. So, the home ice scratchers. What? The home ice scratchers with the replaceable tips. Excuse me, accessory not visible. No, I don't want to add it. I want to look at the option there. Provides additional cooling in hard and icy conditions. Now that's mostly here where we are for sure. Lots and lots of ice. Double coil allows use in reverse without damage. Can be stored along the rail when not in use. Now let's see what this one says. Tunnel ice scratcher with replaceable tips. Thoughtful design features. Oh, excuse me. Replaceable carbide tips provides additional cooling in hard or icy snow conditions. Coil design allows reverse operation without damage. Easily stored below running board when not in use. Let's go ahead and see if we can have both of these. Okay, good. Lots of ice scratchers. Heavy duty air intake. I don't think we're going to go for that today. Accessories are already three. Excuse me, face. Ah. Ultra high windshield already included. Windshield support main and windshield side deflect. Central deflector for $52.99. See if there's a black one. Nope. Low medium windshield kit adjustable. Let's try the adjustable one instead. Adjustable windshield low to medium added. There we go. I think that means it can slide up and down. Yeah. Deadly. 
next build summary. Excuse my face. For a whopping $19,751.85, you too could have your own. 2023 Expedition LE now take into consideration. It could be a lot cheaper than that, starting at $16,299. Your machine may or may not be somewhere around this price. It may be higher, maybe lower. I don't know. I've never bought a brand new snow machine before. I'm not, again, or, sorry, not again. I think this is the first time I'm saying this. Snow machine. I don't know what to say to that. There are snow people. Also, sometimes it's just a skidoo. And that might mean skidoo for up to get for Yamaha or any number of other machines. Um, kind of like if you've ever one of these and said, buy me a Kleenex. And in fact, this is not a Kleenex brand. Right? So sometimes the brand names of stuff can take over and just really mean the whole category of that thing. So, for example, the Kleenex can mean tissue and the skidoo can mean a skidoo or potentially a snowmobile or snow machine. So, for example, I think that getting a snowmobile to where we are in the Arctic is at least another $3,000 on top of this price. I think if you put it on the sea lift or if you go ahead and put it on um, an airplane and bring it up by plane, um, you could be looking at upwards of uh, definitely $3,000. Some airlines are, I think, at a baseline of $8,000. So, I mean, you're looking at lots and lots of extra dough. Say you build break order. Well, I don't know if you want to do either of those or either of those sums. It is a thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. I hope that you were relaxed and got everything out of this video that you wanted to and then some. So, for now, uh, I'm going to say goodbye, folks. I love you all very, very, very much. Bye.